Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a look at these Plantronic Batbeat Pro 2 extended wireless headphones. Come and take a look. So the first thing to do is get them out of the box. Let's take a look. I've just popped that box there. So inside obviously you've got a inner box just to keep it a bit safe and secure. We just open this out, take off the crepe paper. Just take that out, anything else inside there. Just pop that to the side, we don't need that right now. So first thing to say is you get a travel pouch with these, which is really handy, particularly if you're going away like I am this summer, or if you want to keep them safe and secure inside here rather than just straight in your bag or you know, when you're leaving them lying around at home and maybe you've got a few kids around the house, um, you know, sometimes they can get their hands on them. Leaving them inside here just keeps them out of sight and also just keeps them quite safe. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So we have the headphones. I'll pop them to the side for a second and we'll look at those in a moment. There's also a zip on the front of the pouch as well, just for sort of keeping bits and pieces in there. I'll just have a look what's in there first. So you've got your um, user guide. You've also got what looks like a 3.5 millimeter cable and you've also got a micro USB cable as well and I assume that's for charging. The front pocket is quite big so you could possibly fit in there maybe your mobile phone, maybe a power pack or something like that um, or maybe a few other extra cables particularly when you're traveling. Sort of inside of the pouch you can't obviously feel it yourself but it's really soft material. It feels really nice and smooth and soft. It almost feels like like stroking a rabbit for example so these are really going to keep your headphones really nice and I guess pristine and new uh, just the day like the day you bought them so if I just pop that to one side and we'll take a look at the headphones so take a look at the headphones the first thing to note is that these are the black tan option they do come in a couple of other options but this one I've got today for you is the black tan option it's got a kind of black leather headband but underneath you'll see that there's a brown sort of tan colour in the inside. That's also got quite a lot of cushioning in just to obviously make it feel a little bit easier on your head when you are wearing them. The ear cups are both black in colour, they are plastic, um, slightly matted as well as a little bit shiny around the detailing there. Uh, you've also got black cushioned ear pieces as well, really cushioned ear pieces so be interesting to know how that feels in a few moments. You notice I am twisting them back and forth, uh, really handy sort of when you store them you twist them like that anyway. But when you're not wearing them on your ears, you can also twist them like this, pop them around your neck and they do sit really comfortable just on your shoulders there. The good thing about when they turn like this is that you can actually turn your head with ease left and right and not sort of feel like it's rubbing against you. If I sort of turn them inside now and turn my head, my beard or certainly the rough side of my face could be rubbing against the ear cups. And over time that's probably going to sort of deteriorate the ear cushions and the ear cups. Uh, so it's really handy that you can turn them like that. Also, they've got a two-point pivot system as well, so again, they can really sort of fit to your face or the shape of your head. You've also got adjustable sides as well, so they've got quite a lot and, and down quite a lot, so again, really making sure that you can get the best comfort when you're wearing these. Sometimes, you know, I've had um, earphones in the, in the past and they've been probably a little bit uncomfortable, really not fitted to my face. So again, I'd be interested to see how these feel. They do feel quite heavy. Um, the, Specification says they weigh 289 grams. They do feel quite heavy, but equally, I would say they look really well made as well. So, you know, the fact that you've got really good cushioning on, on both the head and also the ears should mean that you're not necessarily going to feel that weight there. Although they do feel heavy, I'd just be interested to see how they do feel when they're on your head. If we turn to the left ear cup, you'll notice you've got some built in controls. You've got the play and pause button, you've got the skip track and previous track button. You've also got a volume twister as well, so again you can reduce or hide the volume when you're listening to either music or equally. These earphones are, do have a built-in mic and therefore do double up as a hands-free for your mobile phones as well. Um, just on that subject as well, these earphones are Bluetooth Class 1. They're extended wireless headphones which means they've got a 100 meter range. It's quite a distance 100 meters. Now, what I'm going to do shortly is I'm going to test these out and I'm going to try um, putting my mobile phone in one room and testing out the headphones all around the house. What I've had in the past with previous Bluetooth headphones and earphones 
is you, your phone could be even in your pocket and you still get that kind of crackly effect sometimes of where the communication is sort of dropped or, or struggling. So I'd be really interested to see if the 100 metre range sort of, I guess, makes good of, of its promise. Um, just looking as well on the left hand ear cup, you've also got your noise cancelling button. So these headphones come with active noise cancelling. You can choose whether to turn that on. Um, it obviously means that will block out any sort of unnecessary noise in the background. Particularly handy, let's say, if you're on a plane and you can hear that real drum of the engine throughout the whole journey. Well, if you've got active noise cancelling headphones, that will mute that out so you can then just concentrate on listening to what's in your headphones. It's also got what's called open listening mode, which is something I've not come across before, but I believe it's where you turn it onto open listening mode. And then what that does is because of the built-in mic in the headphones, that will then amplify sound from coming from outside of the headphone area, particularly useful, let's say, if you're listening out for an announcement or something like that. It's supposedly supposed to amplify the sound into your headphones. So again, be interested to see what that sounds like. Looking at the battery life, now these claim to have a 24 hour battery life. Yes, I did say 24 hours. So you could pretty much go on any plane journey and these would not run out of battery. The other good thing to note is that they have, they have only got a three hour charge time. So three hours will give you 24 hours of listening time. I think that's pretty amazing for a pair of headphones. I'm really impressed. And again, I'd be interested to see how that stacks up as well. In terms of standby as well, it's a 21 day standby battery life if you're not using them. So 21 days of them just being ready to be used at any one point is a massive amount of time. It certainly stops you from having to charge them up every two seconds. And to be honest though, even if you did have to charge them up, I'm sure you could get quite a few hours out of a one hour charge. So really impressed with that battery life. Now another handy feature of these headphones is it's got built-in sensors in the earpieces. What that means is that if you're listening to content, maybe if you're listening to a bit of music, and then all of a sudden someone asks you a question, let's say for example, in my case, my children, the moment I take my headphones off, the music will pause on whichever device I'm listening to, and then the moment I pop my headphones back on, the music will begin. It's just really handy, it means you don't miss any content or it doesn't mean you miss any of your favorite songs when you're listening to them. It's a really handy feature, I think. Now another feature of these headphones is they can connect to up to two devices at any one time. So for example, you could probably choose to connect your mobile phone up whilst you're connected to the telly watching your favourite football match for example. And the moment a call comes through, you'll still be able to take your call on these headphones thanks to the built-in mic and the ability to actually take hands-free calls with them. So again, another really handy feature. It's also really incredibly easy to actually pair them with a device. All you simply do is you go to your power button you simply switch that and hold it up. Then what you'll notice is that on the little LED screen there, you've got a couple of LED lights. It will alternate blue and orange to show you that it's in pairing mode. Then simply go to your Bluetooth options on your device where you'll see Backbeat Pro 2 headphones and just click connect. There's no need for any um, pin codes or passcodes or anything like that. They just connect straight away. Then once they're connected, what you'll hear inside of the headphones is a little spoken menu that will say, uh, device one connected just to let you know that it's been connected. Equally, when you do turn on your headphones, the first thing you'll notice is that there's blue lights will flash up. Now there's five blue lights there, each indicate 20% of the battery life. So for example, if you've got five lights up, you've got 100% battery life. So again, it just gives you that idea of how much battery is remaining. That said, during the, I guess during your listening process, you will hear spoken words just every now and again when it drops down to a battery level, just to let you know what your battery level is looking like. So again, you can make sure then you charge them when you need to. There is also an app for both Android and iOS. Um, the app doesn't do a great deal if I'm being completely honest. All it does is just let you know um, exactly how much battery life you've got left by the hours, as well as your handy sort of e-manual if you're stuck of how to do anything. Although the controls are quite intuitive anyway. So again, I've not really had to use the, um, the e-manual or the manuals at all. A couple other things to note is that these are not water resistant and they're not sweat resistant either. I guess I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that they're not sweat resistant. I can certainly understand water resistant because they're not really the type of headphone you'd be sort of wearing when you go swimming or when you certainly go near water. However, I'm looking to use these, I guess, on holiday um, by the poolside maybe. So I've just got to be that little bit careful that I don't get any splashes or any bit of water on them. I mean, yes, I do have the travel pouch, so I can pop them in there when not using them. However, it doesn't really feel very waterproof, so again, I'm going to just have to make sure that they are somewhere secure and they're not going to get wet. I guess it's just something that maybe they could have thought about 
just to give you that peace of ease or ease of mind um, when you're, I guess, when you use them out and about and they, you may be prone to a bit of splashing. So I'm going to go check these out, give them a bit of a try and I'll see you back shortly. Hi there, so I've been listening, sorry, sorry. Hi there, so I've been listening to these now for around about two to three hours now. Um, first thing to notice, they feel really, really comfy on my head and my ears. I've not felt any heaviness at all. They really are perfect fit for my head. I don't know whether that's just because I've got a, the right size head for headphones, but they don't feel at all sort of itchy, heavy, sort of squashing your ears as I've had previously in the past. They really do feel a nice headphone to wear. In terms of the audio quality, absolutely amazing. I mean, it does say on there that they do have 40 millimeter drivers, but actually, you know, there is a real high res audio there. They've got such crisp high notes in terms of the, the medium natural tones are coming out there. And also there's a very nice deep bass, which I haven't really heard any distortion at all through that. No, I don't really listen to very heavy bass type music, but equally I have been listening to them at a very loud rate just to see if there was any distortion there and I couldn't really hear anything at all. In terms of the ease of use, incredibly easy to use. I really like how you can feel the buttons on, your, on the side of your earpieces. And again, the, the twist volume works really well there. I did try out the active um, noise cancelling and that was really good in terms of actually being able to drone out any noise in the background. What I did do is I did test the open listening mode. Now what I did is I turned on my radio and I also listened to some music inside my headphones and when I switched it to the open listening mode the headphones stopped playing music and what almost happened it was almost like it was almost like the radio was coming through my headphones at that time. It was really interesting and really sort of, I guess, surreal experience, but equally one that could be really useful, particularly if you are at, let's say, an airport and you listen out for an announcement or train station, for example. Equally, it's also probably quite good if you're in the office and you just want to eavesdrop on some colleagues and see what they're really talking about. So really did like the open listening mode. It was something I really enjoyed. Another thing I really did like about these headphones is the range. There wasn't mine when they said extended wireless headphones. In terms of myself, I put my mobile phone in the furthest bedroom of the house. I then came downstairs and even tried to go in the understairs cupboard, in the downstairs cloakroom, in the garage, and at no point at all was there any loss in sound, any quality, any crackling. So in terms of actually extended wireless, these are top notch. So yeah, I think they're a really fantastic pair of headphones. Really love the feel, the build quality, the sound. I love the fact that there's a 24 hour battery there. I have downloaded the app and the app does tell you exactly in terms of hours and minutes how much battery life is left, which is really handy. I guess the one thing that didn't work so well is I did just try to connect two devices at once, which was fine. I managed to pair them really easy. What I did connect is I connected my phone and a tablet at the same time. Now, whilst I was watching something on my tablet, I got one of my um, friends to ring me on my phone now trying to speak hands-free on the phone, it didn't quite connect up to my phone quite quickly enough. I was having to mess around with my phone's Bluetooth settings a little bit while I was trying to sort of keep the, um, my friend on the other end of the phone telling him I was still there. So it wasn't quite as smooth as what I would have liked. Easy to pair up the two, but it's something just to be mindful of that it's worth certainly trying that out if you are listening to two devices at once or you've got two devices connected. Just understanding the makeup of your, your, your phone um, settings as well as being able to switch on the different Bluetooths when you need to. I really like the fact that it comes with a pouch as well, that'd be really handy for when I go on holiday just for keeping them in that nice new condition of when they bought them. I love the fact that it comes with a 3.5mm cable as well so if I've got any devices that maybe don't support Bluetooth or maybe let's say if I'm on a plane and I want to plug it in directly to the plane I can do so but I can still get that noise cancelling effect as well so it's really handy and nearly nice touch to do that. The USB, micro USB cable is a little bit short. I would have liked it a little bit longer if I'm honest, but I guess I'm just picking at little things now. Just sort of when I want to plug it into, let's say a, a power source, it's a little bit short of what I like. Um, so I may be looking to invest in a, in a bit longer cable for that. But overall, would I buy these headphones? Yes, I would. They're absolutely amazing. These Plantronics Backpeak Pro 2 are really top quality. So that's my review of these Plantronics Backbeat Pro 2 extended wireless headphones. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave them down below. If you'd like this video, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for more reviews and videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.